Hi Leo and welcome back to my channel. My name is Luxa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I'm going to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, new viewers and visitors alike for sharing my channel with others for faithfully following when I post new content. I am posting daily so always come and take some time and just check out what I have here and in regards to channeled messages for you in your zodiac sign uh, about love or any other uh, messages that I want to channel for you that I'm inspired or topics or themes. Now, if you want more, just take a look in the video section. I have tons and tons of videos focusing on your zodiac sign, love life, and other topics and themes, okay? But today here, Leo, I'm going to be focusing on how are your guides guiding you? Now, this is a general message I'm sorry general reading so if you are interested in a one-to-one -one private reading just look down below in the description box all my information is there please note I do not reach out to potential clients so if anyone is reaching out to you claiming to be me it is not me all right Leo so the first thing I'm going to do here is take a look at your current overall energy at this moment in time these are uh, timeless readings if you do bump into this um, video at some point in time, there may be a reason here. Your guides may be uh, wanting you or guiding you to see uh, what messages you can resonate in this uh, reading. So check to see uh, from beginning to end. Watch this in, in its entirety. And let's take a look here. Once I take a look at what is your current overall energy at this moment in time, Leo, I'm going to focus on how are your guides guiding you at this moment in time so as far as overall energy i have here for you time to breathe out disseminating moon followed by the clarity card a time for healing all right so here at your current moment in time at this uh, particular energy that you have around you now this could be in your career okay in your finances it could be your spiritual journey or it could be your love life so this is general okay take what resonates but it says here time to take uh take time to breathe out disseminating moon i feel here that there is this type of regrouping okay energy it's like you're coming or, or you're taking inventory you're coming toward your center you're trying to fi figure things out i feel here a sense of strategizing trying to move things like i I literally just saw a chess board um, in my mind clairvoyantly um, in my mind's eye so it's like you're trying to put the pieces together but you're strategizing for it okay take time to breathe out there may have been a lot of emotional things happening around you or just energies that are beyond your control things be that are beyond your control that have made you feel either a little bit anxious or feeling like you have to keep up energetically okay a time for healing this moment in time it could be that you may be feeling again this sense of having it's like i'm seeing a hamster on a wheel and it's like you're trying to kind of keep up with things now that could be physically here in the third in the in the third dimension okay as in yes you are doing a lot of busy things right you're responsible you're multitasking you have a lot of responsibilities you're moving around run 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 for others of you i feel this is energetically it's like you have been thinking a lot about something or energetically you're really uh pretty projecting a lot of energy a lot of uh you may also have here i'm hearing vampires so you may have some energy vampires around your circle okay whether that be your boss whether it be your loved one whether it just be the uh tons and tons of responsibility and tasks they're taking away a lot of this energy okay so there's something that's like that may be um kind of pulling that out of you this a time for healing is all about self-care so at this moment in time there's this awareness that you need to be uh focusing on and that person is you all right um leo so you need to take time to breathe you need time to meditate, to contemplate, to regroup in order for you to continue to have energy for yourself so that you can move forward, okay? 
let's take a look at what other details here in regards to your current overall energy and then we're going to take a look at how your guides are guiding you at this moment in time okay so this one stood okay wow so here you have justice this stood behind so i took it so you have justice here balance okay balance is needed at this moment in time i told you that i was feeling here this energetic pull it's either you being on the hamster wheel physically having to move 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 or you sitting at the center and just having a lot of things happening around you that require you to uh to exert a lot of energy okay here with the justice is all about balance so there is this need for you to balance that type of energy around you it also says here i speak my truth and fairness to myself it's like you need to self-care you need to be honest with yourself if something is not working for you at this current moment in time and you do need a break and you do need some type of rest and relaxation then in a way you need to um objectively and impartially be able to state that to people okay it's like listen don't take this in the in the wrong way but i just need some time for myself and that's perfectly fine here with the justice i also feel here with this justice energy that there's this feeling of things that um may have been wrong are now coming into fruition into being right so rights turning into i'm sorry wrongs turning into rights okay cause and effect here is what i'm feeling you also have here the queen of swords and it says i protect what matters to me okay so protect what matters to you you are cutting things that no longer serve you there is this need here for you to really take a look at yourself put yourself first self-care so that you can push forward and it's interesting that i said that because their next card behind that is the nine of wands it says i am strong for as long as i need to be strong there is a sense of uh determination here okay with this nine of wands energy it's pushing yourself forward it's uh you know it's it's the sense of no matter how challenging okay or how much energetically things may be kind of weighing down on you it's like you get up for the 10th time and you continue to push yourself forward okay here with the nine of wands i'm also feeling you keep fighting you hold that vision of whatever it is that you want to accomplish and you're moving it forward here with the justice card there's also the sense of being objective and impartial here um, in a way just kind of looking at things for what they are and listen protecting yourself here with the queen of swords okay being able to think about things logically and say to yourself you know what your mastery over your mind um, is of great importance at this moment in time so not just feeling that uh, I'm getting the storyline for some of you here that you it's it's hard for you to take time to yourself because you feel guilty that you're not being uh, or that you're not able to be there for other other people but i'm i'm just just a suggestion here this is telling you that you need to make your time for yourself okay so you cannot give uh from a from a from from a place where you're not at a hundred percent okay so the nine of wands is all about falling nine times but getting up that tenth time perseverance all right so let's take a look here at how your guides are guiding you during this moment in time now again this could be your career it could be your finances it could be your spiritual journey or your love life so how are your guides guiding you so it says here kindred spirits spirit companions guides and comfort so here this is saying that your guides spiritual guides um, your ethereal realm, uh, guardian angel, whatever your belief system is as far as your spiritual guides or your ethereal network or guides, this is talking about that you're not alone. They are comforting you during your moments of either sadness, during your moments of confusion, during the moments where you feel like you just don't know where to um, get that energy to kind of push you through. They're saying here that they're comforting you in some way, shape or form it also says here spirit of spring freedom action power they may be giving you um ideas okay there may be the sense of clarity or insight that sometimes comes to your mind when you least expect it okay and it's in a way how they communicate with you and you, i say that because you see here this little bird here birds are about communication okay they're about um 
you know, the sense of freedom, the sense of movement, okay? Now, this bird is not moving, okay? So there could be the sense of when you are not busy, all right, when you are not busy, when you're not in the go, when you're not on the go, that you take that special moment in time, create that five minute moment for yourself whether it be, it be at the beginning of your the start of your day or the beginning of your day or whether that be at the end of your day so that you can communicate with the higher well okay now the whether that is through prayer visualization manifestation okay affirmations daily affirmations meditation yoga whatever it is that you need to do in order to in a way quiet the mind so that you can tune into and it's interesting as you see the face here and you see the bird here it's like so you can tune into whatever messages signs symbol synchronicities that your guides are trying to in a way share with you so that you are in awareness of how to overcome something or how to make something better okay so let's take a look here at what uh, what other ways are your guides helping you or guiding you at this moment in time all right leo so your next card here is reflections what did i just say this is 100 confirmation of what i just said two seconds ago reflections what you contemplate can actual actualize okay you need to focus on yourself your emotions this is a person there is the, the water water is emotions and intuition you see a person here you see her leg and the leg is turning into water so this has a lot to do with the merging the merging of your energy and the energy of your spirit spirit realm okay your ethereal guides there's this sense of having to come to this quiet state so that through your meditation through your reflections through the sense of quieting the mind that you are able to tune in to the subtle energies to the subtle nuances whether you are a clairvoyant whether you which is seeing images okay in your in your mind's eye whether you're a clairvoyant uh, I'm sorry, Clara audience, where you could hear the message, where Clara sentience, where you feel the sense of, hmm, your gut level feeling is kind of guiding you, or whether it is just your clary cognizance, which is just an inner sense of just knowing that this is what it is. Whatever your strengths are, intuitive wise, this is saying that they're trying to communicate with you, that they're guiding you by trying to give you messages in some way, shape or form that really focus on your own intuitive ability. You also have here fertility. So they're, they're trying to tap into your energy okay when you are quiet when you are in a meditative state okay meditation doesn't always mean uh staying in silence it could be tai chi for you it could be yoga it could be even as something as easy as when you're washing dishes that your mind just there's a sense of clarity and quietness so that you can get these insights that they're trying to uh, guide you towards okay some of you have noticed that there are moments that you just get up boom something you know you weren't thinking about something you're like hey maybe i should blah, 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 blah. that's them helping you through that clarity through that moment of awareness okay so let's take a look here at how else are your guys guiding you at this moment in time leo i'm hearing partnership okay so they're telling me here that your guides want to partner up with you okay not only do they want to partner up with you because they're always there it's like they feel like you need to make that extra connection okay because they're there it's the you part of your intention of actually creating that special sanctuary for yourself so that you can tune in to their insights okay so you have here discovering the truth you stand in the light of truth all right, this is all about trusting your instincts. I said this earlier, there's a part of you here that you are instinctively able to connect with your guides and they are able to connect with you. But there is this sense of being able to discover the truth when you are at a quiet moment in time, whether that is through meditation, yoga, 
um, anything that's just soothing, maybe even painting. I just saw someone painting here. So it may be through drawing, through painting, maybe even just listening to music. But there is this state that you need to be in in order for you to continue to hone in to messages of how they are going to guide you and help you. You also have here solitude. Again, I'm not surprised. I keep feeling that over and over again energetically here for you, Leo. It says, in silence, peace prevails. Okay, so there is this sense of finding a quiet moment. Again, whether a quiet moment in your morning or whether there's a quiet moment at the end of the day or whether there is a quiet moment before things start getting uh, too much i'm getting a sense here that some of you wake up in the middle of the night okay i just saw uh someone like up and everybody else is sleeping in my mind's eye so those moments where you may wake up with insomnia in the middle of the night that may be the perfect moment for you to just hone in and focus on those signs, symbols, synchronicities and focus on what insight, okay? What insight can come in for you in order to help you through this specific moment in time? Leo, I hope that this uh, was an insightful message for you or messages for you. Give this a thumbs up so that I know that you are interested and continue to be interested in this specific topic on how guides are, how your guides are guiding you. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.